let's say I will have, I will assign the cost then. Um, now the template is ready, and we need to set up quotas. So we have another CR, cost of template quota, and I already have one where I'm allowing uh, two instances of the DEFCON cluster and the budget for this namespace is 25. And I want to add another one. So I will allow just one instance of the, of the demo template that we just created. Um, so this is where the, um, the admin flow ends. Uh, and everything is ready for the users to use our template and so they can provision their new clusters. Um, so now I can log in as a, as, as a user on this cluster. So, uh, and I think I'm already logged in, so let's check. Okay, yeah, so that's my username, user. Um, so, and this user uh, has very limited permissions on the cluster. So, if I try to do OC get pod, I will be rejected. If the internet will start working. Okay, finally. So uh, you can see I cannot get pods, but uh, I have uh, one project uh, within which I can operate, and that's the dev user namespace. Uh, and the only things that I can do is that I can explore what cluster templates are on the cluster. So we have these three templates, right? Uh, the demo template is the new one that we just created. Uh, and every template has a cost. I can explore uh, what kind of quota uh, is in my namespace. I can take a look, I can take a closer look. Uh, so I can see that as a user, I can create two instances of this DevConf cluster and one instance of the demo template. And in the status, I see uh, that I already spent 10 budget, right? And I have 25 maximum. And then uh, what kind of clusters I already have. So I have one a DevConf cluster and zero of the demo template. So let's try to uh, create a cluster from the demo template. Um, I need to create a cluster template instance. So I already have a, have a cluster template uh, prepared. So every cluster template instance, uh, in the spec, uh, we have a cluster template reference. So this should reference the uh, template that we want to use. So I need to change this to change this to demo template, and then I can provide the parameters for the template, right? So because the admin allowed me to use whichever version I want, so I will use the 4.11.12. So let me change the, version, the template. It's called demo template. And and let me apply it. All right, so the uh, request to create a cluster template instance was successful. Uh, I can again check the quotas. And I can see that in the status, uh, I have a new uh, demo template and the count is one, right? And the budget spent is 20 because the uh, cost of the, of the cluster template was 10. 
So if I would try to create another one, I won't be allowed to do it. Yeah, because there is, there is a webhook uh, which is checking whether the quota, whether we are, uh, you know, within the, the quota that was speci specified. Um, so the cluster provisioning is running. Uh, we can check that. So in the, in the cluster template instance that we created, uh, in the status, we will see how the provisioning is going. So in the, we have a conditions here, which are basically uh, showing all the, all the progress of, uh, of the cluster deployment. So the first condition that we have here is the cluster definition created. Um, which is true. So that means that the that we created application and the Argo CD uh, is taking care of the uh, Helm chart deployment. Then it shows whether the cluster installation was successful. That's true. So it already created a cluster uh, because it's a hypershift cluster, so it was very fast. And yeah, and then there is a then when we create a create this cluster. Uh, we add the cluster to Argo, so Argo t can uh, manage that cluster. So that was already done, and then there is a, and then Argo will apply the cluster setup, so it will start creating the Kafka on the new cluster, right? And after all is done, uh, I will get the, um, yeah, I will get the uh, access to my cluster. So. There is a admin password and the, also the uh, URL of the API. So I can grab my password, which is yeah, this one, and I can take my API URL. I can log in. Okay, so now uh, I'm logged in to my new cluster. And let's try whether the Kafka that I wanted to have deployed on that, on that cluster is running. Um, so they just grabbed these commands from the, uh, the example of the, of the Kafka uh, cluster. So I, I will run a Kafka consumer here. And in the another terminal, I will run the Kafka producer. And once that is running, I will be able to uh, type something in, into the Kafka producer, so like foo, and uh, it should appear in the, in the cluster, in the Kafka consumer. Okay, so that's it. Um, do you have any questions? Uh, OC get notes on what? Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so the the question was whether I can show the mm -hmm. uh, notes on the newly provisioned cluster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, and another question, can you please elaborate a little bit about that agent platform within Hypershift config? Uh, sorry, so can, you, can you repeat? Uh, so, you have a CR for Hypershift, so yes. and you have a platform agent there. Yes. So, Correct. could you elaborate a little bit? What oh, yeah, is sure. That? So, how agent platform works uh, is that you have, uh, you will create an infrastructure environment, which is a, which is the CR, right? And uh, that infrastructure environment will provide you with the ISO. You take, the, take that ISO and you, you boot up your bare metal machine or VM machine or whatever, right? And you boot it up and it will appear as an agent. 
uh, in, inside that infrastructure environment. So I already did that, right, because I didn't want to spend time on that. So you have a, you have an agent, in, agent in that infrastructure environment. And when we take a look at the, at the Helm chart that we created, In the, in the note pool, uh, it says that, that uh, maybe, yeah, so here, in the hosted cluster, it says that the infrastructure, that I, the infrastructure environment that I want to is called DevConf Infra, okay? And from, so I'm picking agents from that DevConf Infra and in the node pool, I can say uh, what kind of agents I want. So you can specify, you can pick them by the label, and I just say that I can just pick any, any agent from that uh, infrastructure environment. Sure. Okay, any other question? Maybe you will show that uh, later, but what is this project? Is it bundled with something or is it a standalone operator? Uh, where can we find more info about that? Uh, how yeah, can we install sure. it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so this project is uh, very new. Uh, we don't even have a first release yet, but we are working on that. So hopefully next week we will have something. Uh, but it is a currently it's a standalone uh, operator, it should be available on the operator hub soon. Uh, and uh, maybe later it will be part of that MCE project. That's why I started with it, because when I, at the time when I was writing this presentation, uh, it was, we wanted to include it in the next release of the MCE, but then uh, it was decided that uh, we will postpone that. So yeah, so it will be, from the beginning, it will be a uh, standalone operator available on the GitHub, but later it will be part of the MC, probably. And um, and where you can find it is so on my last slide. Uh, there is a repository which you can check out. Um, yeah, and you can you can right now you can just build it yourself and run it, or just wait a week or so, and it will be on the on the operator app. And about the uh, Ergo CD, uh, you install it as a dependency or you expect it's already installed on cluster? Yeah, it needs to be uh, installed by you. And the same way so for Hive or Hypershift, Yes, right? yeah. So you can either install MCE, which will bring the Hive and Hypershift, or you can just uh, install those separately if you don't want the whole MCE package. Thank you. Okay, so um, that's all I have. Uh, is there any other question? Yeah. Uh, yeah, another question about like underlying infrastructure for mm -hmm. provisioned cluster. So, mm -hmm. uh, is there any like cloud integration, uh, like managing load balancers, via services, and that kind of stuff? Um, or is it just like, uh, or it works just like a bare metal, and you need to like figure out it yourself. I mean, you you can deploy your cluster on AWS or GCP or mm. on anything anything that the Hive or Hypershift is using because that's what we use to mm. deploy okay. our, our uh, to deploy the clusters. Um, yeah, so. So that basically depends on underlying Hypershift capability. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Is there any? Other question. Okay, cool. So uh, thank Questions? you. Questions? Thank you. Thank you, Rastislav.